Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Tammy Thompson slash TVMG. Thanks for stopping back. Um, I hope you have enjoyed my previous installment of the five day tablescape challenge. Today I'm bringing you day two, and this is Tuesday's tablescape. Um, I have changed a couple of things around um, nothing huge. Um, I'm waiting to put some pops and some wows in towards the end. But as you will see from the video, I've um, changed some of the glassware. I've added some elements with the candles. Um, I have also changed the way that the um, napkin is laid out on the tablescape so I've done a couple of small things um, nothing huge but they do give it a little bit more of an impact because you get to see a little bit more bling a little bit more gold introduced into the table now the table is going to end up with white gold and silver so have no fear that's how it's gonna end up but I wanted to introduce a little bit more gold to give it um, some pop of another metal with it. Um, I'm debating on if I'm gonna do something with a little bit of rose gold as well on the table. Haven't figured that out yet, but we'll see. We still have three more days after today. So check out this video. Make sure you like the video, share the video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Again, this is a five day tablescape challenge. So I'm gonna be changing things here and there on the table for five days straight. So we are on day two. Check it out and comment below. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you have some ideas on what I should add. So we'll see if any of your ideas pop up on my table. Until next time, you guys. Bye.
Okay guys, so we are going to give the tip of the day. So the tip of the day today, on the second day of the five day tablescape challenge is make sure you purchase enough dishes and flatware and glasses. So basically your whole place setting to accommodate as many seats as your table can handle. Now, as you notice on my table, I always have the bench and then I have the two seats. So technically that's four, but I have a window seat in my apartment, so I can push the table over towards the window seat, which can then house three people on one side, the bench can actually hold three people on one side as well. And I can move the two chairs to the ends. So they'd be captain's chairs. So, or head of the table chairs, I guess. Um, so I would be purchasing eight place settings whenever I purchase wine glasses, um, cocktail glasses, flatware, plates, placemats, all of that stuff. I try, now it doesn't always happen, but I do try to purchase for as many as I know can sit at the table, which is eight, like I said. Comfortably, it would be six, because it would be two on each side, and then two on the ends. So, um, if I can't find eight place settings of something, then I will get six, but my tip, is to always get more um, it can't hurt you if you break a glass if you um, break a plate or something like that then you always have the other ones as well you may never have eight people sitting at your table but if you have eight plates then if you break a plate then you still have seven. So if you only ever have four people at your house, you still have more than enough um, to feed everyone. So that is my tip of the day. All right, you guys, that was my tip for today. Again, make sure you like the video, share the video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Until next time, you guys. Bye.